All right, g'day guys. So for anyone who's just seen my uh, last video on how to uh, basically link random table results using Inspiration Pad Pro, uh, it really got me thinking uh, into other uh, very common random generators that are used by the community uh, out on the internet. So one of those is obviously Donjon. Uh, anyone who hasn't heard of donjon.bin.sh uh, probably hasn't asked the question because uh, it's a very common response from people in uh, the social media circles. If you are looking for random generators uh, in 5th edition or even in older editions or even Pathfinder, then the Donjon website uh, pretty much has you covered. Um, but obviously as a Realmworks user, I like to keep everything structured within Realmworks as much as I can uh, to make it as easy as me to manage all the information as possible. Uh, I'm not the type of person that likes to come along and open up uh, five or six tabs in a website um, in preparation for my game. I like to have it at my fingertips in Realmworks because uh, Realmworks just makes managing that combat, uh, that information a lot uh, more streamlined and efficient. So. With that in mind, let's jump over and have a look at what we've done tonight. All right, so in front of me, you can see the Donjon website. Um, and as you can see over here, I am a fifth edition player, but there are a lot of other different uh, variations that you can play with. Uh, but I'm gonna be playing here in the fifth edition side tonight. Um, and you can see it does have random generators. All right, so you've got a magic items, you've got encounters, you've got treasures. Um, which is all really cool, and I know a lot of people really like the functionality that this website gives you. Now, when I change this drop down here, you see a very important thing happens up here. The URL changes, um, and that's really quite interesting. All right, because what it means is I can take that URL, I can copy it, and then I can come over into Realmworks. Um, and you can see here I'm working under my random table article uh, that I created in my previous video. Um, and you can see here I've basically come down and I've created a link to an item. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to go hyperlink. I'm going to paste in the URL that I just copied from the Donjon website. And in here I'm going to basically copy what it was. So it's a business event. Uh, it's a 10 day business event. with three unpaid de debts. We're just going to call it a business event. All right, there we go. I've now got a URL. Now the benefit being that I can now come along and click this. It loads up and there we go. We've got the results at our fingertips. I can then close these off and uh, go straight back to another one, random magic item. There we go. All right, as you can see, that's that's pretty quick and efficient. I would say it's a little bit slower because it's a website versus uh, my previous method, uh, which is using Inspiration Pad Pro. Um, but the results are, you know, pretty close on par. I'd say they're they're pretty even. Um, there's obviously some different types here. I, I would say Inspiration Pad Pro is a little bit more customizable in that you can download other people's random tables and load them in and then utilize them in Realmworks. But Donjon has a really good set of things that people obviously like to use. So. Uh, it's fantastic to be able to do this. So we'll run through it again. Uh, we'll grab the random treasure this time. Uh, we're gonna go treasure. We're gonna go treasure hoard. All right. And we're gonna put it up to a CR 10. All right, so I can grab that. URL's changed. I can come along to here. We'll go text snippet. Add a hyperlink, random treasure, CR10, there we go. So now I can just click that link and off we go. Oh, that one actually didn't work. Maybe I copied in the wrong URL. So we'll just edit that again. And click. 
See, that's interesting. So we, we do have an issue there. It seems to be, no matter what I follow, it's actually dropping off some of the stuff that we had. And I wonder if I close all these, it'll work. No. Some of it seems to work, some of it doesn't. So there you go. There's obviously going to be some sort of hiccup there. And I imagine that's actually with my browser, maybe with my cache is picking that up. Because if I go edit this hyperlink, I'll open it up in Notepad. So that is going to that website. It's just maybe caching prop uh, incorrectly. So there you go. It looks like there is a bit of a gotcha to using this method, but it is absolutely possible. For some reason, when I'm linking out, I seem to be linking to the one that I've commonly used, but it seems to be working for other things. So look, I'm not going to say this is perfect um, from obviously what we just experienced then. Um, Inspiration Pad Pro, uh, from what I can tell, is quicker. Um, it's more customizable and it seems to be more correct. Um, but as I said, this could be my PC just caching things funny. Um, I'll leave it up to you guys to do a bit more testing. Um, but yeah, it, it seems like a pretty uh, pretty cool way to basically link over to um, something like Donjon. Um, and obviously this could be used for any website, um, but you know, Donjon's pretty popular. So uh, I figure this will be interesting to some people. So. If you've got any questions, um, if there's any videos you'd like to see in the future, please do leave them in the comments below. Um, apart from that, guys, I'll uh, speak to you on the forums and have a great day.